I'm going to continue with this helmet piece of the butcher. Thanks to uh, yeah, a lot of people liked what I started on, but uh, they were correct. It had something missing, so here we go. The original piece of helmet went down here, where this extra shiny piece is. So what I've done is I've added an extra panel along the bottom, and then that's my wife looking at the picture. She realised, and I should have realised, there's a huge lip on the bottom of the helmet. So I'll put that extra lip in to the helmet. I've gone over it. Now, yeah, if you look at it at this angle, it looks lopsided. This is deliberate. What it is, um, along the top of the helmet, if you look at them from bird's eye view, say, uh, I've got this triangular piece coming in because more of the front of the face is covered. I noticed on the game that the front of the face is covered up more and it fades down to the back of the helmet where there's less. Uh, this is good because it gives me more movement. I've been playing around wearing it. So at the back it comes down to here and then it curves off. So it does look a little lopsided from that from there. See? But it isn't. There's just more on the front. So yeah, painted it silver. Uh, I sprayed it roughly silver with black and the next thing we'll do is put the artwork into it of the rust etc and uh, we'll have a little look um, how it is. So thank you for the honest opinions out there and um, I'll do this and we'll have a look. Now I'm putting on the first layer of paint at the moment as you can see. Uh, it's uh, I'm giving it that heavy duty rust feel and um, as you can see it's not looking so bad at the moment. I wanted to know uh, the best colour I found for doing this. Definitely Mars Violet. Go down to your local art shop and get yourself some Mars Violet. It's great! I mean I'm mixing it together um, with Gold orchid. Oh, is that orchid? Orchid. Gold. This stuff. Um, I'm using this one mainly as the. Uh, you know, when rust goes rusty. <laughs> Everyone's seen rust. Uh, you have the very dark rust, which is usually um, in uh, sort of anywhere that's caught water and water sat for a while. It's really dark. But as it as as the, the the water has dried in the sun, it gets lighter. So I've been using the idea of this stuff is in anywhere that's a deep area is dark. You know, it's light, it's light, as if it's been drying. As if the butcher goes out in the sun to dry. some water a little bit and I've just put the magical ingredients of coffee and soy sauce in fact soy sauce is great I mean just get a bit of that in there look at that smells rather nice too the smell of coffee and Chinese food never thought the butcher would smell that so I'm going to add a bit more paint to this, hang it up, leave it to dry, and then go to work. And I better tidy up the bath, because if the wife sees this, she might go crazy. Time's a ticking. Nearly ran out of time. Uh, the apron is now dry, and it's looking pretty cool, but I still need to put some more on the top of it, because the bottom looks great, but the top doesn't. Helmet's done. That's cool. So all I need now is the meat cleaver. So, 
As you know, a bit like Pyramid Head, he's got a big ass knife. And uh, this one has meat cleaver. So, what I've done is, I've got some bits of cardboard. Uh, cardboard. Good stuff. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a pattern and cut out the meat cleaver. Now, everyone knows what meat cleaver looks like. So, if I quickly draw meat cleaver. Meat cleaver, yeah, big, gigantic meat cleaver. And I'm going to cut that out, see what it looks like, and uh, then paint it up rusty like everything else. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to do two of them and stick a pole in the middle, just like the pyramid head knife, but it's a meat cleaver. Who'd win in a fight, pyramid head or the butcher? Hmm, let's ponder. So now I'm going to, I've got two bits, a bit like pyramid head, I'm going to stick a pole down the middle of it and uh, spray it black to start off with and then put my wrist in. I should do the wrist for... Yeah, I'll get it black first and at least I've got it for tomorrow, worst case scenario. Um, in fact, no, I'll do the bottom silver I do the handle black. Worst case scenario, I'm ready to go. Yeah.